to coming up how is an islamic school different from a regular or a convent school? what is the fundamental difference see i would like to say we must not make great difference in running an islamic school because in an islamic school we have to be quality bound we must be focusing in the world academics so what i'm trying to say everybody has got his own understanding of what an islamic school for some of them having hijab and salah is an islamic school for some of them you know uh, teaching the quran there is an islamic school for some of them teaching hadith and fiqh is also islamic school arabic language can be introduced yes or no all of these things are you know it's a, a different uh, explanation each one has got but in my view there should not be any major distinction between worldly academical school and an islamic school what we want to have in an islamic school you can keep on adding one after another but we must be focusing on excellence in quality in education that immaterial that doesn't matter whether it is run by a muslim or a non muslim or what we are here to cater education to the community which is backward we must say again and again that our community is been declared as a backward community in india and we take pride in saying that we are obcs other backward community i feel ashamed of myself to say that we are still considering ourselves as backward community i don't want to take this on myself we have to be on the forward we must be on the forward so there is so much of emotional mileage which we get once we say emotional mileage i mean to say once somebody says an islamic school you know people want to get all the favors they don't want to pay the fees on time you know these are the other problems and people want to say are ye to islamic school hai aap raham nahi dikhayenge why aren't you showing us mercy all of these things you know i am trying to say when you get into the metro you getting into the metro train and you expect it to function with quality isn't it you want to travel at a good pace you want to reach the place at a time and you want to have a very memorable journey there the same thing has to apply for an islamic school period doesn't matter i want quality there i want there if you are in maharashtra we must teach marathi as a local language compulsory to the extent that we make our children very much conducive to the local culture our children should be conversing in marathi our children should be conversing in kannada language in bangalore and our children should be conversing in tamil in th- tamil nadu so we have to be assimilating the local culture so in my very humble request this fad of taking the name as islamic school is many a times people are using it for granted people are just calling it as an islamic school just to attract a lot of people and by nature it cannot become an islamic school unless and until we follow the ethics of running the school based on islamic you know ethos and among the main fundamental ethos is to give quality education if you are teaching english give the best english training there if you are teaching karate give the best martial artists uh you know training there so you have to give everything not just quran quran is required even without quran being taught in the school quran can be taught at home quran can be taught in the evening classes i'm not saying don't teach the quran in the islamic schools what i'm trying to say by taking the name of quran and hadith you cannot escape from your responsibilities you have to ensure that you give all the best education which other schools are giving you have to compete with the other schools here what is happening in the garb of being an islamic school we are saying are hum kya karenge hum to islamic school chala rahe are this is not this is a sense of escapism so we have to be on par with every school and i would like to say brother obey three points that i want to say see one thing is an islamic school what is an islamic school so in my understanding everybody has got their own interpretation in my understanding first and foremost an islamic school should teach humanity everybody agrees nobody will disagree islamic school will teach humanity and it will talk about humanity towards all of the people 
irrespective of, of caste creed color religion race you know we are going to be good to all yes that is not against the islamic ethos yes second thing is nationalism nationalism is not racism love for the country patriotism in the positive sense is required i would want my children to be part of the indian bureaucracy i want to them i want to see them working for the government of india i want to see them working in the uh, government institutions as judges as police officers and as uh, you know as advocates whatever it could be a possibility i want our children to get into these domains along with being corporate and commercial uh, you know businessmen and all that all that is also required but we have to be part of this nation's uh, you know we, uh, about the uh, building of this nation we have to be part of the building of this nation we have to construct the uh, country we have to build every brick of this country so that is the mindset i want the people to think on those lines first is humanity second is nationalism in the positive sense not in the negative sense not racism not jingoism we are talking about love for the country patriotism and thirdly is islamism yes <laughs> i want islamic knowledge cannot be compromised be it tauhid oneness of allah we teach our children we teach the quran we teach the children hadith we teach the children arabic language all these things have to be part of the islamic education so three things if if the muslim umma of india or elsewhere across the world if we are going to adhere to these three things inshallah taala we're going to become a very powerful entity in any land in any land we're going to become very powerful as a community so i want very strong participation from our community in the public domain that is very much important we are lacking that we are always talking about my community my community my community are yaar the whole humanity is ours the whole human race is ours we, the world is waiting for our contribution and if we are going to contribute the world is going to change for sure inshallah taala so islamic school the vision has to be that we are going to serve humanity i am going to work for my nation and i am going to follow the islamic values and ethos so these three things i think many a times we are not talking on the first two things we are talking mainly on the quran hadith alhamdulillah we have to learn the quran and hadith no doubt about it but what is important is that how does it impact the world the quran and hadith has to impact the world so therefore i bring humanity and then nationalism in the present days context very much important